Is another alien movie in the works, ladies and gents? That's the headline. Here we go. Look, Ridley Scott talks Raised by Wolves and the future of the Alien franchise. This is the source of those headlines that you've been seeing, saying it's in development, it's here, it's happening, blah, blah, blah. So I thought we'd just have a look at it together, actually, um, and just sort of clarify some bits and bobs. So this is Forbes. I'll leave the article linked down below. Do I want another Alien instalment? Yeah, absolutely, of course I do. Um, I really like Alien. I, I built part of the channel off the Alien franchise. Um, I really, really do. And I also think as much as, you know, the prequels have been disappointing um, with Alien, I still want Ridley Scott to finish it. You know, just because I don't want a story to be unfinished. I think that's, that's crap. Like, no one wants a story to be unfinished. So in this article, he's being interviewed to talk, you know, about Raised by Wolves, which, side note, my review uh, is listed above, which has a lot of comparisons to the Alien franchise, and it's left a lot of people wondering if they're connected. They're not. They can't possibly be connected. Uh, absolutely, 100% unequivocally, they're not connected. Um, HBO owns Raised by Wolves. Also, you know, Scott Free as the production studio, but HBO owns the rights to it, and Disney own the rights to Alien. Disney, they're not, they're not going to be, they're, they're not connected, all right? They're not, they're completely separate. Anything that you see that looks like it is either homages, callbacks, or just a bit of laziness um, from Ridley Scott. Now, I, I may do another video on this article because there's some interesting stuff about Raised by Wolves in here, um, which is, is interesting, and it goes some way to explaining Ridley Scott's mindset on the Alien franchise as well. But we'll get down to the, the core um, nitty-gritty of what was so important, right? And how this pertains to all those headlines that you've seen. And please don't get your hopes up because it's, it's, it's not any further forward than it was, basically. This is the problem, is he's only touting what he's always touted. As in, yeah, something's happening. That's it. <laughs> it's no official announcement. There's nothing there. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump into it from this part here, from screenwriter Guzikowski, also being the showrunner for Raised by Wolves, because this is then, it, it comes down into the next part of the Alien stuff, right? So Guzikowski being on board for Raised by Wolves, landing in a market where epic shows such as Game of Thrones, another HBO product, have dominated, they had to provide awe in their own way. So he's talking about expanding things and things being different, right? I think the success of something as big as this genuinely all comes down to character. I think if you are able to bring people into the story with characters and emotion, then the dazzling of the audience is exponentially more effective. Whatever it ends up being, we try to go all in on that stuff. When we do hit these set pieces and all this incredible stuff that's going on, you're really in it with the characters. I think that's what makes the difference. That's when you're experiencing a show on a different level. So he's talking about the sets of Race by Wolves and things like this. And the sets are good by Race by Wolves. I mean, it's shot primarily on location. But this, what sets they do have is, is good. Like, it's, it all looks fine anyway. Now, um, he goes on and says, you know, we try to go all in on that stuff. When we do hit these big set pieces and all this incredible stuff that's going on, you're really in it with the characters. I think that's what makes the difference. That's when you're experiencing a show on a different level. I think it's more, uh, it's, you know, it's more so than saying, okay, we've added another 10 million shot here. That will look great. Whatever it is, as a writer, I think it's all about character. Now, Scott said, as a visualist, because I always say he's a good cinematographer, and he is, he's a great cinematographer. Scripting, not so good. But as a visualist, I say getting it on paper is the hardest single thing to do. Where's the script? Where are the characters? That's what it's all about. Now he goes further and says, it's analysis, it's self-criticism, it's a bit like being a writer. Great writers are usually their own great editors. In other words, the writers make the decisions, not the editor. If you're mentally or creatively blocked, you should put it put it in one side and come back and revisit it. If you're any good, suddenly it will become very apparent. I still draw my own storyboards. I have to. My boards are literally what we eventually shoot. I'm already evolving on paper. It's a bit like you've got a blank sheet of paper and you're going to start your book, your novel, 
or your article and you don't know what to do, the best thing to do is just stop effing around and start. You can always scrap it later. And then we go on to the alien stuff. I know it sounds like needless stuff, but it is actually really important because now he then says the alien stuff. Note the scrapping that he says there. That's an approach Scott is using in the evolution of the wildly successful and largely acclaimed Alien franchise. To date, it has grossed over 1.3 billion at the worldwide box office, and the most recent instalment was 2017's Covenant, but Scott's confirmed another film is still in the works. Now here we go, this is where the headlines have come from, this is the big whoa! It's in process. That's it. <laughs> It's, that's it. That, that's that's apparently that's confirmation, ladies and gents, that it's it's literally in active development. Nothing has changed. It's always been in a development process. They've always talked about doing the sequel. They said it when Fox sold the rights to Disney. They said it then. They said, yeah, we're planning to do more, but nothing's happening. Nothing has moved further forward than that very early development stage. And then we get to the we get to the stuff which is concerning for Alien fans, right? It's in process. We went down a route to try and reinvent the wheel with Prometheus and Covenant. Whether or not we go directly back to that is doubtful because Prometheus woke it up very well. But you know, you're asking fundamental questions like, has the alien himself, the facehugger, the chestburster, have they all run out of steam? Do you have to rethink the whole bloody thing and simply use the word to franchise? That's always the fundamental question. He's literally saying, what we want to do and this is what this is this uh, he doesn't understand alien we went down a route to try and reinvent the wheel with prometheus and covenant whether or not we go directly back to that is doubtful are we going to get an end to this story i bloody well hope so but are we going to get to the end the back end of alien probably not by the way he's going because he keeps banging on about the alien being done. Run out of steam. Oh my god. Take it away from him. He doesn't understand alien. He's literally saying right here. This is why everyone getting their hopes up. Just calm down. This is a guy that fundamentally doesn't understand alien. He's literally saying. The alien. The facehugger. The chestburster. They've all run out of steam. Parroting what he said before, where he said, you know, to hell with them, They're, the beast is done, it's done. Do we have to rethink the whole thing and use the word, and do you know what word he's referring to? Alien. Simply use the word to franchise. That is always the fundamental question. So kiss goodbye to your alien franchise, because it's not going to be an alien franchise anymore. The alien is going to be sidelined. Now, there are some pros to this approach, but I don't like the way he's going with it. Because the, using Alien to franchise outwards makes perfect sense. But not if your core stories are not based around the alien creature that made it so successful. You know, drop in Colonial Marines. Great. Have a war movie with Colonial Marines. Awesome. And the alien in there somewhere. That would work great. Have a scientific movie, you know, a proper sci-fi body horror movie on a ground level laboratory um, sort of setting with scientists at Wayland yutani doing mutation experiments on the alien. The alien's in there. Great, it works. He's on about using alien as the core, as the word to franchise off and use bloody androids. He's got a hard on for androids. He always has. He can't stop. He just someone take it away from him he's just he's got this just uh, it's just nonsense oh yes of course the alien's done yes that's why alien figures sell so well uh, who's buying david eight figures no one who's like come on now the android works in conjunction with the alien. Androids work around the alien because androids view the alien as this perfect specimen. They look at it as this uh, amoral thing, right? They don't look at it as good or bad. They're looking at it as an organism, a biological, uh, you know, asset 
that's why androids become very uh, enticing in this universe. He just doesn't get it. Take it away from him. And calm down. Everyone that's like, yeah, it's in the works. It's not in the works. It's in process. That's not an official word. That's the same it's always been. It's been like that for the last three years. Coming on four soon. Nothing's changed. And unfortunately, if this is the case he wants to go down, and he's not going to do a bloody sequel to Covenant, and it's not going to wrap it up and actually tell us you know, the story of how the alien ship got there, then I don't think anyone wants to see it now. People are done. You know, just, anyway, whatever. Let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comment section. Love to hear it. And if you actually disagree with me, let me know why. Because this is a man that is saying that the alien is done. So if you like Alien, you're a fan of Alien, why do you think that this is good news? Let me know down below. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. Side note, guys, I'm making a new film, and there's a GoFundMe down below in the description box. That's it. Check it out if you want. You don't have to, but check it out if you want. I've missed H. Take care.